What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox. We do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 14 Pro and today we're back with the case from Apple. Of course we got the official leather case. This is going to be the midnight version to unbox. Do a quick review. You know I'll throw up the link in the video description if you want to check it out. This one should be the one to go with. Should look good against that black iPhone 14 Pro. Let's go and check it out. Pricing is going to be steep. It's going to run you about 60 bucks so it's very expensive but i do think that their cases do hold up really well so i don't have a problem recommend them typically presentation nothing really to talk about max a friendly got the leather it's going to slap it it's going to get to it uh, right open like that all right let's go check this one out all right all right so first impressions looks very nice soft to the touch when you get it it's going to feel a little bit slippery but to me, it actually wears. The leather wears. It's such a, it is a premium leather. It'll wear, and it actually starts wearing into your hand where it actually feels a little bit more grippy in time without actually taking. I think you know it will get a little bit scratched up, and depends on what you're using with it. But to me, it holds up enough after a continued use to recommend it. Leather does wear, so keep that in mind. I do like the silicone cases as well. The official silicone is what I really rock most of the time for my daily case. Let's go and slap this one like this. Take off that beautiful, look at that mint. I've been saying, I've been talking about that, that beautiful black. That's good. That jet black, beautiful. Let's go wipe it down, wipe it down. Looking good. All right, so this one should be a nice combination. Slap it like that. Look at that. All right, guys, that's the way to go. Look at that black on black. Tell me that doesn't look good. For me, I'm one of these like minimalists. I like simple I usually get other colors and try to like get you know the gold or the new colors, but I always end up regretting them. When I get these type of phones, like just the black or the you know space gray, whatever, I find myself really liking them because they match all the cases. But this black on black looks good, present you know, like very nice. And again, soft leather doesn't add too much bulk at all. You can see camera protection. You can see how it's raised up above the actual camera itself. So they do a great job with the camera protection for hiding that hump. Let's go and check out the lip protection because everybody does. They like a fat lizard lip protection. You can see it's raised up just enough. So I don't have a problem with that. Blur slider, easy access. Buttons, clicky and responsive. Now they do switch out the buttons. I like what they do with the buttons. Um, they're actually a different type of material. If they were to use the same leather material, it'd be stiff buttons, but they switch them out with this kind of like metallic feel to them. Speakers completely cut out right there. And then power button looks good. Power power looks good as well. And then power right there button. Feels very nice and clicky. Like what they do with the buttons. Let's go and check out the, there we go. Boom, perfect. All right, so we'll call this one a hit all day. I'm gonna compare it a little bit to the ink one. I did this review. And this one to me is more of a purpley, dark purple, deep dark purple, deep blue case. Versus this is almost like true black, which we finally been getting, which I've been trying to get that black for a while. And they actually did a good job with this one. I think this one is be the one to go with. If you guys got that brand new iPhone 14 black, that looks good together. I'm going to call this one a hit all day. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit or miss. We calling it a hit. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.